d1 phi d1 d1 are you available e6 e6 Why you are not responding? Are you available? D1 and E2. I will give option today for you. Why you are not responding? Sir, D1, sir. Are you listening my class now? Yes, sir. Okay, listen and tell me here uh, what is the query I am going to write? Which operation I am doing here? Which join we are discussing? About which join we are discussing here? D1. Tell me the syntax for equijoin. Equijoin, sir.
sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, now let us start our session. Now can you see the screen, my screen? All of you. Yes, sir. Okay, CR. Uh, tell me the EP join syntax. Same like other joins, ma'am. Here we are not assigning any join. Just we are separating with uh, column, uh, separating with comma of two tables. See, select SID, yes name, from orders table, order number, from which table? From suppliers table. Comma orders. Suppliers. 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 Where condition also we should specify, right? Suppliers. Comma. Orders. Orders. Mm. Where? Where? Where SID equals ID. to order number. Suppliers ID. Suppliers ID equal to. Orders ID, orders, orders number, right? Sorry, here also yes, ID. Mm. ID. How can I differentiate which column belongs to which table? So you need to give table name right here. Suppliers, this supplier ID from this table. Suppliers table. Suppliers dot. Suppliers dot. Suppliers name from which table? Suppliers dot suppliers name. Order number from orders table. So orders. Orders. Orders dot. Orders or the orders orders dot order number from suppliers comma orders where SID this SID from suppliers table so suppliers suppliers dot supplier ID equal to here this SID from Orders table. So orders, orders, orders dot SID. Now you are able to view the data, right? This is the syntax and example for equijoin. Equijoin. Okay. Note it down this. Next Next other join is self join. This is also very very important join. See what is self join? A self join is a specific type of join. In self join, a table is joined with itself. A table is joined with itself. Self join simply specifies that each rows of the table is combined with itself. Okay, and every other row of the table. See, this is the syntax for self join select here we should use alias name we should use alias name see here alias name is what for uh, table here table one having alias name a next to table one have alias name b here 
we are comparing we are joining one table with itself okay the table is joined with itself how we will see see this is the syntax what is the syntax select here a means what first table that column name next b is what second table that column name next from table 1 reference table 1 reference okay this is only one table but it combined with itself and comparing with the supplier side is we are giving different references in java you are giving you are creating object right we are giving references so you are creating one object for employee employee e equal to new employee next e dot you are calling m1 method next e dot you are calling m2 method same here also you can apply it right self join joined with itself this is the syntax now we will see the query how you are going to execute okay remember with the reference we are dividing one table into two table next the result will be in one table okay with the reference we are dividing one table into two tables then we are combining and displaying one table okay see uh, we used where condition here and common column name common column name. like we have sid right supplier id will do see what is the query need to write i am not combining two tables here like like suppliers and orders i am performing operation on suppliers table here uh, we can assume uh, suppliers s is one table supplier s1 is one table suppliers s2 is another table we are giving two dif uh, two different references based on the references we are uh, assume like these are two tables and comparing supplier id then we are going to display the data in table in one table see how it will be tell me the query select what what are the columns i want to display supplier id supplier name okay select Supplier ID, comma, oh, supplier name, comma, want to display supplier address also, supplier address from suppliers, okay, next, S1 reference. S1 is reference. See, that means what? SID from S1, S1 dot means suppliers first table. Next, S name from suppliers dot S, S1 dot. I am giving yes to here, that means I am going to give other table references yes to. Here we can separate with comma, suppliers, yes to. Next to where condition where supplier ID equal to supplier ID. This supplier ID from S1 and this supplier ID from 
yes so take the query once select s1 dot sid s1 dot s name s2 dot s address s address from suppliers s1 comma suppliers s2 where s1 dot supplier id equal to s2 dot supplier id so in this way we are dividing one table into two table by using this reference here alias name we can say this is alias name see uh, suppliers first suppliers alias name is what s1 second supplier uh, alias name is what s2 okay we are dividing one table into two table then performing operation self join operation and we are going to display the table display the table say in this way i can use self join okay after self join we are going to discuss cross join cross join this is another join so the cross join specifies that all rows from first table join with all the rows of second table okay if there are x rows in the table 1 and y rows in table 2 then cross join result uh, result will be x into y okay Uh, here for example x rows means three rows in one table and three rows from another table now result will be 3 into 3 9 rows 9 rows will be available it normal happens when no matching join columns are specified when i can use uh, cross join when no matching join columns are specified there is no join column then i can go for cross join in simple words we can say that if two tables in join query have no join condition then oracle returns the partition product means x into y whatever the rows from first table and whatever the rows from second table we are going to multiply it okay see now what is the syntax for this for cross join select star from table 1 cross join table 2 or or we can use this syntax also select star from table 1 comma table 2 that means what that is also null use cross join okay see the diagram you can understand it see the first row from first table will multiply with 1 2 and 3 next second second one also same thing 1 2 3 join with three rows next third row join with 1 2 and 3 so that means what 3 into 3 the result will be nine rows okay see we will do this cross join see the syntax we can perform either this syntax and by using second syntax we will check both syntaxes okay select star from table 1 cross join table 2 okay when i can go for cross join if there is no matching columns okay it uh, some tables like or uh, no matching columns i can perform but uh, now also you can see here with this table uh select star from suppliers comma table name orders 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 this is 
just pass join. How many rows available in first table and the second table? Select start from suppliers. Suppliers. Next select to start from uh, orders. See, you have both tables. How many rows available in suppliers table? Four rows. Four rows of data available. Coming to second table, how many rows are available? Three rows are available. Four into three, twelve. Right? See, twelve rows are selected. So in this way, we can perform cross join. See, I can use either this above syntax or I can use this syntax also. Say so use. See what is the syntax? Select start from table one, cross join table two. So in the middle you can use cross join. Select start from suppliers, cross join orders table. See same twelve rows of data we can see here. All of you, have you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. You may ask, sir, already we performed this type of operation by using union. Union, intersect, minus, you know that, right? We have done this uh, combining of two tables operations we performed already. Sir, why I need join here? See, the main differences are available here. We'll go through on it. We'll see. See, join combines data from many tables based on matching condition between them. Here must be matching condition will be available. Okay. It combines data from uh, many tables based on matching condition between them. Coming to union, SQL combines the result set of two or more select statement. It is also like uh, combining two tables data by using select for it. The main difference you need to remember here in join it combines data in new columns. It combines data into new columns. One new table will create and in that the data will store in new columns. In union it combines data in new rows. So the data will be stored in row format in rows. From union it combines data into new rows from join it combines data into new columns column wise column wise from join uh, row wise from union okay main difference another difference is number of columns selected from the each table may not be the same in number of columns selected from each table may not be the same so what are the columns uh, we are selecting, we are going to display that uh, all columns may not be the same. Okay, Number of columns selected from each table may not be same. But in union, number of columns selected from each table should be same. While you are using union operation, see what is the query for union select, supplier ID, comma, supplier name from uh, suppliers union uh, supplier uh, name supplier id from table name right so there the column names must be same otherwise we cannot perform union operation 
but in join we can perform if one column is uh, comparing with another column where join condition is met next the data types of corresponding columns selected from each table can be different here data types also may be different but in union the data types the data types of corresponding columns selected from each table should be the same here data types must be same and the column names must be the same if you want to perform union operation if i want to perform join operation may or may not we can perform join operation okay in join operation it may not return distinct columns may not return distinct columns but in union it returns distinct rows it returns distinct rows okay you understand the concept cr yes sir okay what are the differences between join and the union main tell me two difference main differences so number of columns selected from each table may not be the same and the data types of corresponding columns selected from each table can be different in join so in join the data combines and in stored in new columns in union the data combines into new rows those are main differences between join and union actually you should ask the question what is the difference between join and union you did not ask even though i am saying so this is also important question do just read once okay Listen. Uh, actually, Kumar sir is not going to take classes for you. Uh, so now uh, I'm continue till twelve forty. Okay. So now we are going to uh, discuss about procedural language. PLSQL. PLSQL. see actually uh, whatever the programs you are writing in java basic programs you know fibonacci series palindrome uh, uh patterns programs everything whatever programs you have done in c and uh, in java those programs we can perform by using procedure language for sql Okay, here PLSQL means what? Procedural language for SQL, structure query language. Procedural language for structure query language. Okay, we have blocks of statements here. Same data types, strings, concepts. We can perform multiple operations. 
say in Java you have methods. Instead of that, we are using functions here. Okay. Mainly we have functions, triggers, procedures. See in PS, PLSQL, these are the topics now. SQL procedures, SQL functions, PLSQL functions, PLSQL cursors, PLSQL exceptions, next to triggers. These are the concepts, but in your portion, we have only cursors, triggers, okay, cursors, triggers, and procedures. But we'll uh, go through all of this one by one. Not only this, we will go through functions, procedures, cursors, exceptions, triggers, and all. Okay, no problem. We have more practical sessions. I will give you syntaxes and examples. You need to practice in different way. Okay. Right? Control statements in Java. CR. here we have to display or we have we have to write the variables by using this syntax first variable name next to data type next to assigning value okay here while you are assigning you used equal to operator in java but here you should use semi uh, this colon also okay Naming rules. Coming to naming rules, we can use while you are writing data uh, variables uh, or uh, functions, you need to follow some naming rules. So if it is uh, a variable, so you can use underscore or a small letter or capital letters. Okay. Uh, you can use this also you should make your variables easy to read and understand or first character it may be any number or underscore or dollar or so we can use it okay we have default keyword as the assignment operator see in this way i can uh, declare and i can uh, assign value to one variable here counter is a variable name Next, this is the data type. Binary integer is a data type. And I am assigning the value 0. Means that means what? With counter, it have the value. It has the value 0. So in this way, I can assign the value. Tell me what is this? This is variable. And this is data type. In Java, how you are writing? data type then variable name equal to operator and we are initializing the some value but here reverse first two, variable name and the data type we are assigning value okay here we can use default value how how can you use default value variable name data type where cat to 20 20 is the size, default keyword, and default value, what we are going to store. Okay. We discussed about default constraint. Are you remembering? This is the example for initializing the variables. See, declare, begin, end. This is what? What is this session? This section is declaration section. Next section is what? Begin. This is closing session. End is closing session. See, in declaration section, we are going to uh, declare the variables, right? 
variable name a is a variable here b is a variable here c is a variable here f is variable here here integer variable data type is integer in integer we are storing 30 if b we are storing 40 c we declared it with uh, we did not initialize any value here and f is real data type we did not initialize any value now within the begin we are going to write the logic okay this is body this is body we are going to write the logic here c in the c here we are performing addition operation where in the c variable we are storing a plus b value here a value is 30 and b value is 40 total 70 in java you are using uh, system dot out dot println statement for printing the state uh, printing the value type okay if you want to display uh, output in console what is the statement you are using in java a sala view no one answering what happened are you understanding yes just sir. compare with our programming languages c and java you can understand easily same in java you have naming conventions data type control statement the string operations huh? uh, same here also we have exception handling concept we have same thing but syntaxes are different if you understand the syntax uh, you can perform multiple operations like uh, uh, the Fibonacci series, palindrome, every program you can do by using our procedural language in database. Okay, now see the uh, see the data types uh, integer real we used here uh, for printing. For I'm printing for print the value. What is the statement you are using in, uh, in C language? We are using printf statement. In Java, you are using System dot out dot println. Now in database, in DBMS, what is the statement you are using? DBMS output dot put line. DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line. Next to uh, string value. You are using a double quotation for representing the string in Java. Now here. You are using single quotation. Next, for reading value, you are using plus C there. Here, this symbol, R symbol, next to variable name. You understand? You are understanding, right? Same. Just you compare with these lines, you can understand easily. Huh? See, what is the statement? Can you repeat it again? DBMS underscore output to dot put underscore line of the string and we are going to display c value c value here okay next here yeah see real means what you know float value and double value in java to represent yes. dot zero dot three dot five we are using float and double here in dbms we are using real real data type so real data type of variable is what f so f equal to sima there you are using equal to operator now here colon equal to operator next f equal to 100.0 we are giving value by 3.0 see now i want to print the f value how can i print what is the statement we are using print the value here in dbms so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line uh, within the bracket within the single course we are writing string value value of f next to uh, displaying the value we are using r symbol next to f value okay now we are completed that operation so i'm using end here body closed body open and body close 
next i used semicolon so in this way we can write program in procedural language okay this is just one example you can perform any operations by using this program okay in this way we can declare the variables we can perform operation and we can display the data see this is the declaration session this is body session where we are going to perform the operations logics and all next close that body okay by using end okay this is very easy man comparing to that language it is very easy so we have variables local variables global variables local variables means are inner block variables which are not accessible to outer block so we can use that local variables in the within the block only here a uh, global variable means we are going to uh, declare the variables on outermost block out of the block see these are the global variables we declare number one is variable name data type is number and we assign a value another one another variable variable data type we assign 85 value begin means body is begin means one method see one block so within that block i am printing outer variable number dbms underscore output to dot put underscore line outer variable number we are going to display this and the num1 num1 is what 95 here output is what 95 okay next we are printing uh, number 2 dbms underscore output to dot put line within the bracket within the single code outer variable num2 we are displaying num2 value is what 85 here we are going to display 85 okay next within the block can i write another method within the method we are going to call another method also right that have see already you have seen in java same thing here also uh, within the method and that means here uh, within the block you are declaring other variables okay within the block see these are called local variables what are this local variables num1 number equal to 190 num2 number equal to 185 okay we declared we declared next to begin statement so that means what block here i am going to print number one value num2 value that means it displays what only local variables right next this begin ends here and this begin ends here next closing the procedure or function okay now output will be this is the output this is for local variables okay global variables we end the session here and this here next to by using slash that means it terminates otherwise we can't terminate while you are writing this program while you are typing it won't be terminate so if you use slash then it is going to terminate the procedure successfully created or the function successfully create that message we are we will see Okay. See in this way. See, coming to control statements. 
all of you are you able to view my screen are you understanding are you analyzing yes sir are you imagining the uh, program are you comparing the java program with the plsql program please compare then only you can understand it easily okay see the conditions control statements sql supports programming language features like conditional statements and iterative statements it programming construct all similar to how you use in programming languages like java and c++ are you there okay connected so in conditional statements what type of conditions you have if if else if else ladder nested if and switch cases also there see now in our database language we will see if condition if syntax ma first if condition starts here if then condition i use then then keyword here when i can use if condition ma if i want to execute the statements only when condition is true then i can go for if condition here see the condition syntax if condition then statement is executed when condition is true are you understanding yes, next sir. we should use end if for example i am taking one method public by m1 is a method m1 i am performing one operation addition operation into equal to 10 comma into b equal to 20 comma into c equal to A plus B. Then you can print it. How can I print? System dot out dot print ln of print ln of C. Here I want to print some string with value. So addition of
addition just addition next to use plus c How can I call that method? In Java, I know I need to create object. J equal to new J. Here is constructor. Then reference is what? A dot M1. So this is the Java program. Just you can compare same thing here. Here also. Okay, no need to save. Just compare. How can I write if statement if a equal to 10 equal to 10 then it returns true right then I can print dot out dot and Sima here you return you declared into k equal to 10. If k w equal to 10, it returns true. So whenever if I want to return only true value, then I can go for if condition, right? In same way, this if condition, how can I write in DBMS? See, this is the syntax. So if condition here. I used then. I used what I used here for closing the if condition flower braces. Here I used end if and if. Okay. Coming to if else. See the syntax. If condition then print the statement if it is true. Else print the else statement if it is false then end the if okay that means we can close if condition see this syntax is used when you want to execute one set of statements when condition is true or a different set of statement when condition is false next if else if ladder if if else if else, if else, if then, else if. Condition, then execute this statement, else if, then execute this statement, then end the if. Oh. Here, if condition, then print this statement, else if. Print this statements. Else if print this statement. Else if print this statements. In this way, you can make number of else if statements. Then finally, else return this statement. Next, finally close the if condition. You can compare with the Java statement. Same here also same. This is the example. So declare. A is a number, number type. Okay, that means int type only. So A is a variable name. This is the data type, and this is the size for the data type. And I assigned value 500. That means what A having 
500. Next to begin means uh, we started our logic here for checking the Boolean condition. Say if a value is what ma? 500, right? 500 less than 20. Then print this statement. Condition true or false? Condition is false, right? A value is 500 less than 20. 20 is lesser than 500. 20 is greater than. So 20 is above, sorry, below 20, uh, 500. So it returns what? False, right? All of you, are you listening our classes? Here, no response. Continuously, I'm saying. Yes, sir. Is it useful or not to you? Can I give directly programs? You can execute it, right? Just assume and compare with the, your Java program. If a value is less than 20, then I should print here. But a value is 500. 500 is lesser than 20, uh, higher than 20. So um, uh, this statement will not be executed. So the uh, console will go to else statement. Here else is what, what we are printing. For printing was statement, we are using dbms underscore output to dot put line, put underscore line. A is not less than 20. So, I end the if condition. Then I am printing the value of A here. Next to end, end of the program, end. For begin, we have end if and if you understanding are you understanding right we have loops we have loops in or oh, dbms we have loops also loop end loop sequence of statements Here these are the loops basic loops are exit loop while loop for loop cursor for loop see the for loop loop right what is the syntax for for loop for first we need to initialize the value into e equal to 0 i less than n or i less than 10 i plus plus next to print the statement a value see in this way you are writing for loop in java see here into data type i is a variable equal to operator and zero that means what we are initializing the value in memory uh, it, it is allocating i have it low. okay next here comparing condition we are comparing condition how see i value is zero less than 10 is it true or not true or false Yes, all of you. Yeah. 
no one giving reply c1 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 will get option to today for two sections two sessions because uh, is not giving reply okay who are not giving reply will give option to them hello sir are you there yes sir are you understanding ma not understanding sir i am asking you yes sir understanding sir uh, you just compare with uh, java programming then you can understand easily here see our syntax is same everything is same but a syntax just uh, we have some differences in dbms okay here this is initialization this is comparison then we are increment or decrement operator we can use here here i less than 10 that means we are comparing i less than 10 is it true or false zero less than 10 yes true so then it is going to display i equal to zero value then incremented incremented one that means what one one is less than 10 in this way process will continue till it return false right in that way same we have for loop here see the syntax you see our syntax here in dbms for counter in initial value next final value loop loop statements next to end the loop so initial value is what start integer value final value is what end integer value okay begin end next this is our for loop okay for k in 1 till till how many values you are going to display here 1 to 10 values so we initialized k value 1 here k in 1 that means k equal to 1 dot dot till how many values i want to display how how many values i'm going to iterate till 10th value okay 10th value loop next i'm going to print the value here for printing what is the statement dbms underscore output dot put off line of k k k k having values right 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on 10 till 10 value is going to display okay end the loop end begin and ended here and for loop ended here end for loop so this is initialization and till uh, how many values I'm going to display? That many we represent here. 1 to 10. 1 to 10 I want to display. It'll, we are giving in the loop. In the for loop. That was That is the meaning here. Here. You must follow these steps while you are uh, using PLSPL while loop. You don't need to declare the counter variable explicitly because it is declared implicitly in the declaration section. Okay. Next, the counter variable is incremented by one. The counter variable incremented by one and does not need to increment it explicitly. You no need to use increment and uh, declaration. Okay. Next, you can use exit when the statement and exit statements in for loops 
but it, it is not done often so we need to use end to end if if it is loop end means use end loop okay then only it can understand see declare variable data type begin the begin then variable we are assign we are assigning 10 value 10 so that means the number having sorry the variable one having 10 value next for loop started for variable 2 in 1 to 10 loop 1 to 10 loop next to dbms underscore output dot put underscore line variable 1 that means 10 and variable 2 uh, first incremented one value 1 into 1 1 next uh, again it is going to increment 2 10 into 2 20 next incremented 3 next 10 into 3 variable 1 is 10 and variable 2 is going to increment continuously till 10 next to end the loop means end the for loop next end the begin condition see this is the output to understanding see in java if i want to uh, display reverse how can i give same thing we are declaring initial value 5 i equal to 5 or i equal to 10 i less than condition i minus minus we are giving the same thing if i want to print reverse here you just follow declare the declare in the declaration section we declare the variables next begin means we are going to write the logic inside the begin statement so begin we assigned value 10 for variable 1 next we i started for loop variable in reverse use the keyword reverse here see reverse reverse 1 to 10 loop 1 to 10 loop Okay, you read like this 1 to 10 loop. Next, I'm printing the values dbms underscore output dot put line variable 1 into variable 2. See, uh, how we are going to iterate for loop here? Just yes. variable 1 we declared here. That means a variable 1 is what? 10. And we are in. Uh, incrementing the value first to uh, start from 10 right reverse we use reverse if you are not using reverse here 1 to 10 means the variable 2 value is first one next to 2 next to 3 in this way it is going to increment but if you use reverse here uh, it, uh, it uh, starts from 10 here variable 1 is 10 and here variable 2 value also 10 10 into 10 100 we are going to print that 100 here okay next to value is decremented into 9 9 into 10 90 the same loop iterates till the condition is false okay so end the loop and the begin okay begin and here for for loop ending we are using and for loop statement we use semicolon so in this way i can use for loop coming to while loop While loop is used to 
when a set of statement has to be executed as long as the condition is true the while loop is used the condition is uh, decided at the beginning of each iteration and continues until the condition becomes false in java how you are writing while loop i less than 18 Here into i equal to <coughs> If while condition true. We are going to print the value system dot out dot ln. We are going to print the i value then close the while loop. See, this is the syntax, right? The same in DBMS also. We have while loop, condition, looping statements, and end the loop. End the loop. See, we have one example here. Declare, begin, and end. This is common for every program. The declaration section. We declared one variable called i. i is what type integer type and we assign a value 1 to the i then begin in the begin block like begin begin having while loop see the begin we have written while i less than 10 so this is the condition while we are not writing block here we brackets here see Observe here while i less than 10 loop. See for representing it is loop we are using loop. While i less than 10 loop, then print dbms underscore output dot put underscore line of i. We are printing i. Then i equal to i plus one. See here difference is what. While assigning the value to one variable, we used equal to here, colon equal to. Okay, don't forget. See next, end while loop, end the condition. See, one to ten, i less than or equal to ten. Here i value is one. That means what? One to ten. We are going to print. This is the output. In this way, I can write while loop in. DBMS software in Oracle, we are writing while loop in this way. Okay, just to practice this syntax as one. Then logics all are the same. We can perform. What are the logics you learn from Java and C? And same. Another example we have here. Variable one, variable two, begin. We assign value to variable one, and we assign value to variable two. Next while loop, we are comparing uh, variable one, variable two with ten value. Variable two less than or equal to ten or not. We are going to check. If this is true, it is coming to loop. Okay. Then we are printing the multiplication of Variable one and variable two. Then variable two. For variable two, we are assigning variable two plus one every time. Is going to increment one value, and it is storing in variable two. Then end the loop, end the begin state. So this is the output. Okay. Okay, I think your mind is full with so much of programs here. Uh, tomorrow we'll uh, see a practical way how to execute these programs in our Oracle SQL uh, command line. Then you can understand easily. You can uh, practice.
my voice is audible to you looks like something went wrong here network is sir sir but voice is audible Okay, ma'am. We will see in the next session, and uh, in that session, I will explain how to execute that programs. Okay. You just go through in this tutorial and see what are the variable data types we have, and uh, how you are using, and what are the controls, uh, control statements we are using here. What is the syntax? Uh, try to remember that syntax. You can apply same thing here. Okay, you can leave the session. Okay, sir.